Hey everybody, today we're going to be testing out a brand new Coleman dual fuel stove on different types of fuel. Here we have regular 97% rubbing alcohol, low octane gasoline, next we have kerosene, and the last one is Coleman premium blend fuel, which comes in a bottle like this. I'm also gonna check how long and how much fuel does it take to boil 1 liter water on different types of fuel. I'm filming inside of my house, so we have a carbon monoxide detector here and a fire extinguisher down there. I'll put the links to all the stuff down below in the description. So let's start with rubbing alcohol. Now let's give it 30 strokes, and now we can try to light it up. It took a few attempts to light the stove, not sure if you can see it, but it works. You can barely see the flame. As you can see, it kind of works, but the stove doesn't perform really well. The water almost reached the boiling point and the stove started to flame out. So I guess that's it for the isopropyl alcohol test. Now let's pour the rest of the fuel back into the bottle. Next I'm gonna use low octane gasoline. Gasoline burns nice. Yeah, it does what it has to and the stove runs perfectly well. That was pretty fast compared to rubbing alcohol. Let's move to the next fuel, which is kerosene. That was super fast, but as you can see it's not very clean fuel, and it will definitely clog the generator, but anyway you can easily clean or replace that tube. And finally, let's try the Coleman fuel.
As you can see, we got a nice blue flame, the stove runs more evenly, and it's almost odorless compared to gas or kerosene. Okay, so here's the final result. This is the amount of time that it took to boil 1 liter water. And here you can see how much fuel it took and how much is left in the bottles, which originally had 250 grams of fuel. So the common fuel is a true winner here, with just 15 grams of fuel used to boil 1 liter water. So, as you can see, this dual-fuel stove performs differently on different types of fuel. Even though the manual says that you have to use only Coleman fuel or unleaded gasoline, but in some desperate or emergency situations you can use any of these fuels to cook and boil water.